Hey everyone, welcome. Today, we're installing Kali Linux on your Apple Silicon Mac M1, M2, M3, and M4 using VirtualBox. Note that VirtualBox's Apple Silicon support is still in progress. First, we need to download the necessary software. Open your browser and head over to the official Kali Linux website, opening parenthesis kali.org. Go to the Downloads section and look for the ARM64 image. Important note, make absolutely sure you select the ARM64 version, as this is the architecture compatible with Apple Silicon. Download the ISO image. Next, we need VirtualBox. Go to the VirtualBox website, virtualbox.org, and download the latest version for macOS. Important note, double-check the VirtualBox website for any specific instructions or known issues related to Apple Silicon. Install VirtualBox once it's downloaded. Once VirtualBox is downloaded, locate the .dmg file and double-click it to open. This will mount the disk image. Inside the mounted disk image, you'll find a .pkg file. Double-click this .pkg file to launch the VirtualBox installer. Follow the on-screen prompts in the installer. This will guide you through the VirtualBox installation process. You'll likely need to agree to the license terms and choose an installation location. Now, you can open VirtualBox from your application's folder. Now, let's set up our virtual machine in VirtualBox. Click New Name, your VM Kali Linux, and select the ISO file you downloaded. VirtualBox will configure the necessary settings automatically. The Kali installer will boot. Follow the on-screen instructions. Choose your language, keyboard, partitioning method guided. Entire disk is easiest. This will use the entire virtual hard disk we created earlier for Kali Linux. Username, password. Important, remember this password, as you'll need it to log into Kali Linux and complete the installation. After the reboot, log in with your username and password. Congratulations, Kali Linux is running on your Apple Silicon Mac. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Linux and virtualization tutorials. And leave a comment below if you have any questions or run into any issues. I'll do my best to help you out.